of. Uh, this game was outrageously rare. I'm not sure how many uh, how many boards of this exist of this. The only uh, the only piece of art is like really eh, you can kind of see stuff. Rumble lumber. So it's a caveman dinosaur pterodactyl theme. Uh, but how does the game play? How do you think this game plays? What do you think the uh, the objective is in this game? If you have not seen this game before. You got two buttons, you got a wheel. What does that say in the thing? I'm... I'm baby? I'm BB? I'm baby. I don't know what the fuck that says. It's a shmup. <laughs> Joe and Mac, maze game. You're not too far off. Although nobody's, uh... It, well, it, it, it's kind of hard to, like, bring it down to one genre. Although, it's kind of the, the reverse of one genre. If that makes sense. Does that make sense? Also, I'm running this on an old version of... Oh my god. Hold on. Didn't even find the ROMs. I'm going to have to set my controls. Protection, which isn't fully emulated. Okay, so I can't play it on this version. Alright, please don't fart at me. Rumba. Lumber. <laughs> Forgot the name of the game for a second there. Bang! So you can cut down trees. You can run over dinosaurs with wheels. But that's not the object of the game. The object of the game is you have to trap the pterodactyl on four trees or less. There's a bunch of trees, and you have to chop the trees down and get the uh, the pterodactyl onto, onto four trees. So it's like reverse kicks, kind of. You're not, like, making lines. You're, you're getting rid of lines. You're getting rid of the stage to trap the DVD screensaver pterodactyl. Also, the pterodactyl can breathe fire and kill you. So. So, yeah, that's definitely a, a genre type that <laughs> we haven't seen yet, right? Lil Choppa. That's what they call him. Well, the demo did it. See how I got him trapped on, uh, on just four trees there? The demo actually cleared a stage. I'm, I'm amazed. Copy we can change the copyright string. And this stage has this game has a tutorial. <laughs> That's a good credit noise. Excellent. Okay. Got his ass. So yeah, it kind of feels like Chacken and that it has a trading stage. It's the same font and all that. But where is Chacken? I haven't seen Chacken yet. Uh-oh. Dinosaur's hatching from the egg. Whoa. was on nothing. Okay, I get a I get a good bonus for that. Oh. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Rumble Lumber does not know how to swim. 
bro, on to nothing. Oh, I can't- wait. I can't go across that? Really? Bro. Why am I chopping these trees down, then? He's stuck over there. Got his ass. <laughs> well. Oh god. Lightning storm. So this is certainly, I guess, a type of game that hadn't been done yet. Oh, you cheater. Wait, how do- there we go. Fucking squish, nerd. But... Uh... Is this fun, though? <laughs> That's the question. Always a good question. Well, I assume he gets hit by lightning and that kills you. At least, like, each new level is, like, introducing, like, new hazards and stuff, right? Like a volcano that just fucking... Yeah, fired a shot right at me. That was cool. Also, you gotta... Oh my... Oh my... Okay. I had no room to dodge! What do you want me to do, game? Okay, I got an extra life. I'm gonna say, you have to mash the button to chop trees down. Or you can hold it, but that's slower. No, no, no! You fucker! Okay. Uh oh. Uh. Okay. I don't like the volcano. Volcano can go to hell. Oh yeah, I put in like a bunch of credits. Let me reset. <laughs> Good. Alright, try that again. <laughs> and the and the thing you're trying to trap can kill you too, which is fun. That's pretty cool. Why am I not allowed to go through the... the tunnel? The wraparound. Computer can do it. I can't. I saw that. Oh my god, how... And there's, there's like, no tell before... It fires, it's, it, it shoots fire at you. So how are you supposed to know? So, I think this game is a case of... Taito trying to do something new-ish. I mean, I get it. Kix was like a big hit for them. Although, like, Kix was developed by their American division and then... They were so impressed by it, they, uh, they kind of, Japan kind of acquired the copyright to it. And yet they didn't do the same thing for Zookeeper. That's so cheap! It's, that's the enemy you have to trap, so you have to get close to it. You have to get close to the trees to, like, chop them down. One more try. Take that, motherfucker. All that for only 3,000 points. The hitbox and everything is nasty. <laughs> 
Okay. I have to get close to him to, like, chop the trees down, but he can shoot fire. What am I supposed to do, man? I can do that, but I've been saving the trees for, uh, the dinosaurs. Because if you, if you use the wheels, you don't have any defense against the, uh... The dinosaurs. So you kind of need to keep one. Uh oh. We can cross the log. Did that thing just wrap around? Oh! Got his ass! Damn, he's good! Cut off the, uh, the tunnels. <laughs> what a snipe! <laughs> Bruh. He came in through the other side and just... 360 no-scope me. That was great. I don't know about this one. <laughs> how do you even how do you even get past the volcano stage? What is the high score for this one, Mark? High score on Marp is fifty five thousand two hundred thirty. That's not that high. I was what was my first credit score? I assume that 62,000 is the default high score. Have I even seen what the high score list looks like? Is there a high score list? Is it just the one high score? Come on, Tidus. 1984. You can you can work in a, a top 10 ranking list or top 5, whatever. Just get, give us something to put initials in. Yeah, I guess it's just the one high score. So nobody on Marp has beaten the default high score yet? <laughs> Cool. But yeah, I, I guess if the pterodactyl wasn't shooting fire, the game would be too easy, but... But yeah, the fact that there's no tell before it, it fires is just... It just feels really fucking cheap. Considering the uh, the whole point of the game is to trap it on as, like, as few trees as possible. So, if you're down to, like, five or six trees, you gotta cut some of them down that he's stuck on. I guess you gotta be paying attention to, like, which way it's flying. There's a replay burner score where somebody got 200,000. Alright, so it has been done. I imagine it had been done. <laughs> by somebody. But not many, uh... People have gotten that far. The volcano is the last stage before the loop. Man, I'm almost trying to try again. No, I'm not going to. I'm not trying again. <laughs> I can't do that to myself. I'll leave it at that. <laughs> yeah, you can use the wheel to cut down a line of trees, but you better be, like, very confident that the, the wheel is going to... That you're going to like get it trapped before the the monster, before the dinosaur gets you. I guess that's part of the ah, fuck, shut up. Part of the risk reward. And Hibiki, I don't know what this room 101 stuff is about, but I don't think it's catching on.
It is, it is a bit convoluted. I guess Taito just didn't, didn't want to make a, make kicks all over again. <laughs> and where's Chacken? Why is there no Chacken pop in this game? It's clearly like, you know, same font and all that. Uh, 69% gave it a 2. It is, uh... <laughs> I don't know, there's kind of some... Uh, there's kind of something to this, but the execution is just really bad. It's like kind of straddling the line between a 1 and a 2. Rumba turned into gum can. Wow. Alright. You got away this time. I'll give you a two. But... Don't let me see you again, Rumba. Don't push your luck. I don't know. I don't, I don't think it's like the worst thing ever. Like, maybe, maybe if I tried to use the wheels more to, to, uh, to trap things in, maybe that is the, uh, the plan, the play. Heidi, there's no such thing as Rumbaroni. All right, there's a lot of art. Hold on a sec. God damn it. <laughs> this is what I live with. Every day I have to hear I have to hear Devil Ray slipping Rony into into things that have nothing to do with Rony. She calls our cat Rika Rony now. That fucking cheesy bread stream was like was like nine months ago. Why do I still have to hear about Rony? Fucking sick. <laughs> okay. Uh, sorry. Catching up on art here. Yeah, Domino's owes me some some more gift cards for this. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see here. Rony dump. I'm not trying to Rony dump. She forced my hand. Okay. Thank you, Arctangent X, for the uh, for the ZZT uh, field day. <laughs> shameful Yank. <laughs> Why did the Shameful Yank guy show up? <laughs> Damn, dude, control yourself. Thank you, Arctangent X. Thank you, let's see here. Thank you, Big Bears Cave, for the, uh, for the field day, I mean, push, check, and pop. You did show up at the, at the Endokai. Can't keep that guy out. <laughs> Thank you for that, Big Bear. Uh, thank you. Let's see here. 
Thank you, Ultra 64. Bongo and a dinosaur at the uh, at the field day with <laughs> the space constellation and cheerleader and Jack and Pop, of course. <laughs> old title logo. Excellent. Even Bongo and a dinosaur need to go to the... need to have a day at the... Uh, field day. A day at the field day. That didn't, that didn't sound right. Okay, thank you. Uh, Cloudy Cloud. First time... Uh, first time submission? Cloudy Cloud, thank you for the for the the, the cute rumble lumbar art. And the number of artists keeps growing. <laughs> thank you very much, Cloudy Cloud. I don't know if you go by a different name in chat. And thank you, as always. Thank you, Ann K. For this art I did not save. Where did it go? <laughs> Found it. More Rumble Lumber art. Thank you very much, Ann K. And thank you, Cloudy Cloud, Ultra 64, Big Bear's Cave, and Art Tangent X. Much appreciated, everybody. Good stuff. Taito games at least bring out the... Uh, um, bring out the creative juices, right? Taito games at least have, uh, have interesting stuff going on. I'm sorry that, like, the last couple streams, there were, like, way too many... <laughs> way too many generic space shooters. We're, 